With Brisbane Regionals just around the corner, this is my last chance to take a look at a little bit of a rogue deck, a little bit of a fun deck before I have to really start to nail down some of those meta picks. And I figured, why not take a look at Delmai's VMAX? This card has actually got some really, really strong potential, and when we pair it with the brand new Arceus V-Star card from Brilliant Stars, we can actually get some pretty significant wins, which is fantastic. Let's talk about Delmai's first. It's a 330 HP grass type VMAX Pokemon. It has two attacks which are both really powerful. Our first attack for a single grass energy is Swinging Chain. Essentially what this attack does is it deals 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each grass energy attached to our Delmise. Now one grass energy which is the cost of the attack deals 30 but if we get three on there we're dealing 90. Four we can deal 120. You can see how quickly that particular particular damage counter cap can rise, we can get some big knockouts on opponent's benched Pokemon. When we combine that with our Arceus V-Star and the Trinity Nova attack, we can see that we are not only going to be able to deal pretty solid damage, we are also going to be able to get a ton of grass energy in play on our Delmise VMAX. We also have another really strong attack for two grass and a colorless energy. We have Max Anchor, which deals 240 40 damage, and then during our next turn, we can't use Max Anchor. If we add on a Choice Belt, that means we are dealing ourselves 270 damage, which is a pretty solid number, if I don't say so myself. Now, 280 is the number of HP that Arceus V-Star has, so there is one copy of Galarian Zigzagoon in the list, but it's only really very niche. The rest of the game we're going to try and take knockouts with Swinging Chain if we can. Uh, also worth noting that in this list we have a 2-2 line of Industrious Incisors Barrel that will allow us to draw some extra cards and fill up our hand when we don't necessarily have a good one. Sorry, it's a 3-2 line. Um, we've also got Path to the Peak in this deck. Apart from our Arceus, there aren't really too many abilities that we desperately want to use. So if we've already used our Starbirth ability with Arceus V-Star, we can just play down a Path to the Peak and lock up a few of those big meta decks at the moment. Decks like Mew, decks like uh, Rayquaza, which I've seen floating around on the ladder, uh, also lots of uh, Arceus Box kind of decks featuring Moltres. Those kind of decks really struggle if they don't have access to Path to the... Uh, they don't have abilities because of Path to the Peak. That's what I'm trying to say. I can barely get the words out. Anyway, I think this list is really quite something. Uh, if you want to play along with it, it is down in the description. I appreciate that Arceus is not necessarily the cheapest card at the moment, but hopefully PTCG Live comes out very soon. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Check out the games as they come up. I reckon this Delmise deck's actually pretty solid. We have ourselves a pretty solid opening hand here. We've been given an extra card off of a mulligan. Plus, we also have Quick Ball, Ultra Ball, and Energy which is fantastic. We also have our Delmise in the active, and it looks like we are going to be playing up against a single strike deck. One of those decks that is very, very strong at the moment, preying on weakness for cards like Arceus and also Mew. Look at this. We've just managed to top deck everything we need. To be brutally honest, I don't know what else we could really ask for. I am going to grab Dunsparce. Its Mysterious Nest ability means that our Arceus does not have weakness, which is very important, especially against decks like Single Strike, where they do have these varied attackers. But I'll tell you what, our hand is actually really, really good for us next turn. We can use Luminion if we want to search for a supporter. We can Alterable for a Barrel or an Arceus V-Star. There are a lot of things that we can do, and potentially we could actually see ourselves with a V-Star and a supporter, uh, provided that the card that we top deck is discardable. Um, so that would be very, very good. Arceus makes so many decks just that little bit more, a uh, little bit more consistent, a little bit more powerful. I would not be surprised if it ends up being one of the better decks in the standard format after Brisbane Regionals. Uh, now, it is our turn here. Unfortunately, we've got ourselves a card that isn't quite discardable. I mean, we might have to discard it anyway, uh, just to get rid of that Delmise VMAX and grab ourselves our Arceus V-Star. 
Uh, we could even get two prizes this turn if we really want to. Uh, we could go for a Lumineon here for a boss's orders to bring out the Crobat. Uh, I don't think that that's worth doing. I think we're better off just going for the research here and trying to get ourselves set up. And you can see we've managed to do pretty much all of the things we needed. The only card we are missing here is a double turbo energy, which is uh, not too bad. We can always search for it with Starbirth if we want. Uh, I'm going to play down Escape Rope, and we're going to see what our opponent wants to have knocked out here. I'll throw down the Air Balloon on the Bidoof, and then I think we just play down our... Oh, we... Uh, uh, I think we can put down the Arceus, that's fine. Uh, and then we'll Star Birth. So we're going to go through here, we're going to grab ourselves a copy of... Where is it? Our Twin Energy, Double Turbo Energy. Definitely going to be grabbed. Uh, I also don't mind the idea... Potentially grabbing Ordinary Rod just to get ourselves that VMAX back. Uh, although, maybe just Evo Incense to search out either Arceus, uh, the Barrel, or the V Star is pretty good. Let's go for the Incense. We will use that to grab ourselves the Barrel. Industrious Incisors is such a good ability uh, to just draw some cards, so we'll definitely want to be using that. Then we can Quick Ball away the Bidoof. We probably don't even need to get any cards off of that. And then Industrious Incisors for three. Uh, pretty solid there. Then we can Trinity Nova take the knockout on the Houndoom. A uh, Houndoom, sorry. And accelerate some energy. Only two in the deck, which is not ideal. Uh, but we can always place those down on our Delmires. Uh, and we've taken the first prize of the game, which is pretty good. Uh, means that the next prizes that we need to take are on the board. There's a Chromat V that we can easily knock out with our Arceus. Uh, we also have a potential two shot on Urshifu VMAX. Uh, not necessarily ideal, but we don't get knocked out by Arceus from this Urshifu due to weakness because of that Dunsparce. Now, if they do manage to get a bunch of extra energy on here, they will be able to get that KO. But I don't think it's possible. I think losing that Hound to a last turn means they can never one-shot our Arceus here, which is very, very good. And I tell you what, that's a an absolutely perfect hand to get off of the money. Boss's Orders and Galarmine, both super, super strong. Um, I'm thinking our opponent is probably going to go for the beatdown here. 140 damage is nothing to sneeze at. Without the Dunsparce, we would actually be knocked out here. Um, but... Luckily for us, our Dunsparce does the job, no weakness, and now we have an opportunity to put ourselves way out in front. Um, we've got one Grass Energy in the discard pile. We've got the Ordinary Rod in hand, we could potentially shuffle it in. I think we'll just play down the Galar Mine to start off with, and then we will go with that boss's orders. Uh, we'll take the Crobat into the active, we could potentially go for the... Uh, the Oh, uh, no, we can't because we don't have the Zigzagoon. I was going to say we could go for the Urshifu, but I don't think we need to. Oh, there's the Zigzagoon, by the way. I just don't have any bench space. Uh, let's play down this Ordinary Rod. We are going to put the Delmize VMAX back into the deck, as well as this Grass Energy. I like that Grass Energy going back in there, because that means that our Trinity Nova will not only take two prizes, but also accelerate two Grass Energies. We can put one of those on our Delmize, and then the other on the Arceus. I mean, we've effectively got ourselves two attackers powered and ready to go for next turn. We, we do need the evolved forms, obviously, but with the Barrel and Marnie, we should be able to get ourselves there. And uh, the Urshifu in the active is the only prize now that we need to take, uh, which is very, very good. Hopefully they, uh, well, I mean, they're going to take the knockout with Beatdown. Hopefully we can get ourselves into an Arceus and half hit this Urshifu. That would be great. I don't really want to give up the Delmize at this stage, but not having lost a prize, being three in front means that we are in a very, very good position. Even though they will take a prize this turn, we can easily get ourselves a KO in the next two turns. Or with the boss's orders in our hand, we could just take a knockout on the benched V, provided it doesn't get evolved, and then use a escape rope to try and get that final knockout, which could be very good. Could be good for us. Uh, I'm not necessarily certain. Depends on how these cards kind of fall here for us. They're going to take the knockout. Beatdown does eventually get rid of that Arceus, but the Dunsparce has done the job for us. Let's throw ourselves a Pokemon in the active. 
Um, I think Barrel's the obvious choice, but I think we're just going to chuck the Arceus in here because we're going to get the half hit. We're just going to guarantee that we get it. Um, we've got the double turbo, we've got the Arceus, and then we can just go for a research. All we need now is, yep, there's the Evo Incense. We've got Ultra Ball as well. Could be very, very useful. The Delmize VMAX still in the deck means we can throw that onto our Delmize. And uh, now... We should be looking pretty good just to win here. Uh, I am going to quick ball away Marnie. We're going to start thinning some cards out of our deck. We don't necessarily need any of these anymore. The only card that we need to win this game is going to be Boss, and we have that in our hand. Let's Industrious Incisors for one. Uh, Delmise and Zigzagoon not required. Let's, uh, do we discard those or do we just Trinity Nova? Mmm. I think it's fine to just hit here. We're going to deal 180 minus 20 because of the double turbo energy, but that is going to put us in a position where we have more than enough attacks left to win the game. Uh, we could we could have actually put that grass energy onto the Delmise to use swinging chain there. I didn't, didn't think about that, but I mean, we've got the boss. We've got two powered attackers. As long as we don't get Marnied, provided our hand stays the same, we will be able to go on and win this one, which is very, very good. Our opponent is not going to find it easy to retreat because of our gallery. Our mine and uh, it looks pretty solid for us. I mean, they could switch, they could go into that fresh, uh, their fresh Urshifu. They won't be able to take a knockout with it. In fact, I think now that they've attached, they can't take a knockout at all because they they can't one blow. Oh, they furious anger, but it still doesn't do enough. Hey, listen, we had all the pieces. Uh, we've got Trinity Nova here. We can just... Actually, let's uh, let's put the air balloon on. We've got the Delmize. Delmize is in the thumbnail. We want to use him. We'll retreat and then Max Anchor. For the victory, getting a win over a fighting deck. Thanks for that, Dunsparce. A very, very nice tech. Definitely one to include. And hey, we, we had three Grass Energy Prize then too. Not quite so good a start this time. We have managed to find ourselves with a Crobat in the active. And our hand is kind of grim. Uh, we have a Barrel and a Delmize VMAX, but no useful basics. And it looks like we are going up against a, uh, looks like the single prize dark deck, which is very popular at the moment. This, uh, Hooper Moltres kind of business, which is super, super strong against decks like Mew. Doesn't always win, but definitely powerful, and I think it is going to be a bit of a challenge here, especially with this hand. This is atrocious. Um, I think we're going to quick ball. We'll get rid of the ordinary rod. It doesn't really matter here. I, I think the only realistic attacker we can go for is Delmize. We'll play that down. We'll attach an energy. And I guess we just have to hope that either we get Marnied or we get a research off the top deck. Uh, a quick ball will do the job. We could have potentially gone for the, uh, for the fish and then the research then. But we don't want to lose all of these useful cards. Um... I think we'll just see how this one goes. Maybe this isn't one of those. Maybe this is one of those games that doesn't necessarily make the cut. Maybe that's what happens. Maybe you don't see this one because I because uh, I don't get a great start. And um, I will be open and honest with everyone if you are watching this. There are a lot of games that end up on the cutting room floor. Lots of these decks don't work all the time. And uh, this one looks like... Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. What's that? You're going to money me? You're going to give me a bit of a money there, mate? Check that, uh, check that Marnie down. I wonder why Marnie is the card that they've gone for. There's the Marnie. Okay, well, we've got ourselves potentially a game. Let's see what we draw first. Uh, and then I might have to go back to my little spiel about how not every deck can work every time. We'll see. Hey, listen, that's fine. I mean, nothing to do next turn. Play down Arceus, play down Badoof, play down Gallimine, and hope for the best. But, uh... It's something. <laughs> it's something. It's not nothing. It's something. Now would be the time to top deck a quick ball or an ultra ball, honestly. That would be great. Also, if, if everything works out and we, if we hit like a research, we can like ping a Sobble on the bench, take a knockout, that'd be sick. Let's see what happens. Ooh, a Marnie, okay. When suddenly the tables have well and truly turned. Let's Marnie for a few cards. I'd like to see a VMAX, a switch, and a uh, energy here. Ooh, that's pretty close. I mean, we've got Ultra Ball, we've got Air Balloon. Let's attach to the Arceus, and then I think we can just retreat. Let's retreat the Crobat into the Arceus, and then Trinity Charge. 
grab ourselves three energies. We'll chuck a couple of those onto our Delmize. Uh, there's an argument for the fourth on there as well, but I think we're better off putting that on the active. We know that our opponent's deck doesn't necessarily take a huge amount of prizes very quickly. So next turn, our Evo Incense can turn into one of three attackers, which is very, very strong. Arceus, Delmize, um, or Bidoof. Sorry, the barrel's not an attacker. It's a uh, it's a support Pokemon, but we could get all of, we can get any of them. Not all of them, any of them. It's fine. Um, now I will say, I have been very, very impressed with this Delmize deck. I think it is actually pretty close to being good. I think if uh, its attack did a smidgen more damage, uh, maybe it was like 260 instead of 240. Maybe you could find a reason to play Delmize. If Grass was a more effective attacking type, again, maybe you could find a reason to play it. In general, I think it's a really cool deck. It's definitely fun. And that's something that I think Arceus does really, really well in this format, is that it enables a lot of those V and VMAX cards that maybe haven't been very good in the past. Now it gives them a chance to be played. So I think if you haven't already picked up three copies of Arceus and two copies of Arceus, V-Star, they should 100% be your, uh, your target cards for the next couple of weeks because they make so many of these kind of rogue budget tier decks possible. I think it's very, very cool. Now, an Escape Rope is an interesting card to get here, and uh, I'll show you why. We can go for the Delmize if we want. Actually, it's probably better to just go for Barrel. We've got the Ultra Ball. Uh, we'll go for Barrel, and then we will... Let's go for the Industrious Incisors first. We'll see what happens here. Galar Mine's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool card to have gotten. Let's, uh, let's Ultra Ball. Maybe we Ultra Ball away Quick Ball and possibly the boss. We can go for a V-Star or a Delmize here. I think Delmize is fine. We'll throw the Delmize into play. We can then chuck down Galar Mine and then Escape Rope. We've left ourselves with no hand, but next turn we can be Barrel for some cards. And uh, depending on what they throw into the active here, we'll be able to knock out pretty much anything that we want. The only card that we won't be able to take a KO on is Hooper. But you know what? I'm not too worried about that. Hooper is not really a threat to us. We can leave this Sobble in the active if we want as well. Swinging Chain, we've got 3 energy, that's 90 damage. Let's snipe that Drizzile off of the bench, take ourselves a prize, and now our opponent is going to be forced to try and get their Sobble out of the active with Galar Mine in play. A very, very strong play from us. There are only so many Switch cards that this deck plays. There's only so many ways that they can get their Pokemon out of the active, and if they're going to Shady Dealings here for a Scoop Up Net or a Switch, just to get in a 90, uh, just to get in a 90 damage attack, then we are in a really, really good spot. Plus, it's likely that they'll just leave us another Sobble on the bench to take a knockout on. So, very, very good. We are in a pretty sweet position here. They're going to Shady Dealings one more time because of their Scoop Up Net. They're going to go for an Evo Incense, maybe looking for a Quick Shooting Inteleon. Could potentially be the way. Uh, we do have a bit of an issue in the sense that we've already got 90 damage on two Pokemon V, which is a little bit, uh, a little bit rough. They could potentially be knocked out at some point in the future. We're actually being Marnied here out of a, an effective zero card hand. Our opponent obviously desperately looking for some cards to make their situation better. And we've been given pretty much everything that we want. Research, Escape Rope, Boss, and another Energy is very, very good for us. Our Choice Belt doesn't really matter. I'll put it on the Arceus. Potentially give us the out to knock a Sableye out with that later on. Uh, we could attach the grass to the active if we want to and try and get a knockout on the Inteleon later on. Uh, we do, of course, have the uh, the worry of potentially being knocked down. But you know what? It's not the end of the world. Um, this Hooper needs to get in and out of the active a couple of times, and I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. So let's uh, let's swinging chain here. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to keep targeting down their support engine on the bench. The Hooper doesn't really matter if they can't get in and out of the active. And uh, we want to limit the amount of damage that they're doing. So let's just keep pinging these Sobbles. And uh, sooner, uh, sooner rather than later, we will be able to get a knockout with Arceus. Or, I mean, otherwise, our opponent just concedes because they've got nothing to do. 
Hey, Delmise didn't do exactly what I thought it would do, but still very, very strong. Hey, thanks very much to all these people over on this side. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you want to be like all these cool members, then there's a join button down below. Three bucks a month. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much uh, to everyone that has come along. I, I, I hope you've been enjoying the Brilliant Stars stuff. We will see more Pokemon next week, but for the moment, I'll be signing off until at least Tuesday it's because we've got Brisbane Regionals over the weekend, and I want to focus in on that. Uh, but until then, if you're looking for something to tide you over, this Torterra deck another grass deck that's actually really strong. Brilliant Stars turns out has a number of good grass attackers. Didn't expect that one. Click on this, have a watch, see how you like it.